Surely you have heard of Leonardo da Vinci. His famous paintings of Mona Lisa and the Last Supper are so well known that we would love to see them time again and again. Now here it was such a great man who has left behind a fantastic legacy for mankind. I just want to tell you a few things about him. He lived for around 67 years. In that he has written over 13,000 pages of only anatomical designs, drawings and so on. I imagine a person doing that in detail. Then he had written more than 5,000 pages. He was known for his notebooks and that is the reason why I am saying pages. So he has written 5,000 pages of drawings, inventions and various other things. Now, if I just put both these things together, this man was working just for those 5,000 pages. He must have been working for nearly 14 years at a stretch, not a single holiday in between. Now, imagine if I add another 13,000 pages, what would be the case? In the 67 years of his life, this man has been working off and on continuously giving some of the most beautiful drawings, paintings, sculpture and you name it. Anatomical drawings as well as inventions, the bridge and various other crystals that he has drawn which we cannot even know about during his age. He has given us this beautiful stuff in this world. You know about him and you remember about him because he made some of the most beautiful stuff in the world. Mona Lisa, for example. This man left behind a fantastic legacy for mankind to actually think about, revere and also emulate if possible. Likewise, there are many such people in this world who have left behind a very, very beautiful legacy. If I just have to talk about the pyramids of Egypt, the Arthashastra of Kautalya, the Analects of Confucius, and there are various other people. You can keep on naming them continuously. They have left behind a mark for mankind. The reason why we are exploring this subject today is because we as human beings do not think like that. We want to live our life every single day and we are bothered about petty things in life. If I ask you a question, how much of planning have you done in your life? You will be flabbergasted. You will be wondering what am I talking about? I do planning of course, but your planning is so minuscule. You are talking about just a few years of your life. If you do a five-year plan, it is only for five years. Imagine you are in your 20s or 30s and you may be alive till you are 80, 90 or 100. Do you understand what I am talking about? You are needing a plan which is far exceeding 60 years. Which means very clearly that you got to have something to go by. Let me just also remind you that in your own family, your forefathers were there. Grandfather, great-grandfather from either sides. From your mother's side and your father's side. Think about it. Do you have a famous person or a known personality who has left behind a legacy just like Leonardo da Vinci? Nobody is there. You know that very well. And that is the reason why our life planning should not be limited just for a few years, a few days, a few months. We have to plan a very detailed life for ourselves. And that is beyond your grave. Leonardo da Vinci's story tells us beyond the grave. He is gone long ago. But he left behind an indelible mark. Every day you watch videos in YouTube and various other places and read articles, read books. 
these books are going to tell you how to make a million dollars, how to make a hundred million dollars and so on and so forth. Are we talking of anybody who is rich? We are not talking of anyone who is rich or mighty. We are talking about some people who were really an example for mankind. You may earn a billion dollars. Nobody is going to remember you. Nobody. Even in your own family. If someone dies in your family, how many years do you think are you going to remember that person? If your grandfather or a grandmother or somebody dies in your family, you are going to feel bad for a day, two days, three days, max ten, ten days. After that, you are going to forget them. Nobody is going to remember them. They did not make a mark in your life and neither are you making a mark in your own life. You are bothered about your daily wages, daily whatever you want to earn. And that is the reason why this video is very important for you. Remember, you are here once in your lifetime. You have taken birth on this planet Earth. And your job is to leave behind an impression for years and years, maybe eons to come. William Shakespeare has written so many beautiful books. They are being remembered. Likewise, they will find that there are various sages and saints. God Almighty might have come on this earth and he has left behind an impression. Even if it is 5,000 years ago or 7,000 years ago, we are still reading those stories. In India, we have Mahabharata and Ramayana. How many years ago this must have happened? 5, 10, 1,000 years ago? It's a long time off and yet we remember them. Your job is not just for a few days or a few months. Your job is to think about the future beyond your grave and also something that you are going to leave behind a legacy for mankind. Believe me, when I say you are going to leave a legacy for mankind means that you are going to be remembered by everybody. The answer everybody is seeking is how is my life going to be? What am I going to do? Don't bother about these kind of answers. Where is the money going to come from? What is going to happen? Well, whatever job that you are doing, that is the kind of a swadharma that you are following. That swadharma is important to you. You have to excel in that field and you have to become a master of that field. Whatever your field could be, become a master in your own field. Even if you are interested in painting, does not really matter. Your paintings can take your name for thousands of years. You can imagine how many years these paintings are still alive in the minds of people. Likewise, music, craft, architecture, different kinds of monuments that have been built, stories that have been written. Can you imagine you can put a lot of hard work like Leonardo? He gave in more than 20 years of his life working day and night. When he could work so much, why is it that you can't? He was not running after money. Neither was he running after anything. His job was just to continue doing what he is good at. And he continued doing that. So here you have to know that you are here as a very, very special person. And you are not here to just look at some silly videos and watch on Instagram and such, some such things. They are not going to take you anywhere. You may have a million followers, you may have a billion followers. Nobody is going to remember any of these great people. Do you understand? You may have a billion followers, but you are not going to be remembered. The maximum a person can get remembered is for a century or so. That's it. Then afterwards, nobody cares. But you need to leave behind a legacy far beyond that, isn't it? And that is the reason why you have to think on those lines. 
I hope I have given you something to actually think about now. Don't die as a nobody in life. Become somebody. Leave behind a mark of yours so that the world will remember you for eons together. I wish you all the very best in doing that. If you need a little help in that, my videos and my teachings are always there. You can refer to them. You can like, subscribe and share my videos so that you can spread this world around. Thank you very much for watching.